Hello everyone, it's that time again where you asked me a bunch of questions. I don't know what they are and I'm going to answer them and also summon in Fire Emblem Heroes. We're back for Q&A and summons. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm doing some extra videos so that you guys have daily content still rolling out to your, to your face pans. And uh, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just go ahead and kick it off right now. Uh, we got a question from... I'm not even going to try and pronounce that username. Good lord, brother. What are you... What is that? Uh, could you tell us why you like Micaiah so much? Or maybe another character you like a lot, like Ike or Rhea? Um, I feel like I've answered this question a lot, actually. It's uh, it's not overly complicated. Sometimes pretty. Uh, sometimes complicated. Sometimes both. And uh, that would be, you know... That would be the right. I, Ike, Ike is just the ultimate Chad, in my opinion. Also, he ended racism for an entire continent. So, like, I feel like that's a pretty big deal. Uh, nothing too, nothing too overly complicated there. I feel like a lot of my, my like picks are, are, are pretty normy. Um, I don't know who I should be pulling. <laughs> I forgot who I should be pulling for. Uh, we'll, we'll try Colorless, I guess. I'll try colorless. Sure. Marianne. Why not pull colorless? You know, that's what I say. That's what I always say. Why not colorless? Because it's colorless is, is, is fun. We'll never know if it was the top one or not. Uh, anyway, thank you, uh, JT, for the question. Uh, next up, who we got? Game Master. What's up, Game Master? How did you how did you manage to interview Jeremy Lee and Erica Mendez? Oh, good story. So <laughs> I will try to make it brief, though. So I was going to, uh, is it Katsukan? I think it was Katsukan, um, which is like a convention that happens up in like the Maryland, D.C. area. And I noticed that they were gonna, both going to be there. And I was like, yo, that's actually kind of hype. Like maybe I could I could interview them. So I signed up to get a press badge uh under under my youtube which technically i am a media person um i i don't know how many subs i was sitting at at the time that was a fair amount of, of years ago um but i basically signed up and said that you know i cover a lot of fire emblem stuff and uh these these two have a pretty extensive you know fire emblem voice background uh voicing a lot of characters within the series um, and I, I think my viewers would be very interested in, in hearing me talk about some stuff. Uh, and then I, I got a press badge and I don't think they've done press badges since. So I may have ruined that for everyone. I'm not sure because <laughs> I, I don't know if they considered me like legitimate press or not. Um, but I really only wanted to interview those two. Um, Bryce Battenbrook would have been great to interview, but I feel like he, uh, you know, Demon Slayer was kind of like still in, in peak popularity. I think it's still relatively popular, but it was like within its first year of debuting. Um, so the hype was like extra real. And so I was like, dude, there's no shot I get a shot. Because <laughs> he has also voiced characters in, in Fire Emblem too. Uh, Kamui and, and Henry, I think, uh, off the top of my head are two that he's voiced. Um, so I was just like, let's just let's just talk to Sherman, let's talk to Erica, let's let's call it a day. Bing bang boom. Um, and uh, I managed to get some sit-down time with them. They were both very, very uh, like awesome. And nice. I proceeded to not talk a lot about Fire Emblem, uh, which maybe was okay, maybe it wasn't. I tried to, I tried to make the the interviews like really per, like I, I tried to tailor the interview to them because a lot of times you watch an interview and you don't realize it until after watching so many in a row. But a lot of them can just be uber repetitive, and like they ask the same types of questions uh, and they follow the same kind of flow. I didn't want to do that. You no, know, like, you know, I was asking, I was asking stuff from like their early years. Uh, I was, I was asking like advice type stuff. I was going over characters and series and things like who, who, who is the most useless, uh, you know, of, of the characters they voice. Like, I, I think I asked Erica was, is, uh, who, who's the least helpful Megamine or, uh, 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 Bernadetta. And, you know, just random, random kind of stuff like that. And, um, yeah, so that, that's, that's basically how it happened. I was, I was going to a convention, saw they were there. 
um, saw that they were offering press badges. Uh, I will I will say I, I felt like I was legitimate press. I handled myself accordingly. The only issue was that the, the camera didn't quite pick up light. I didn't know we were basically going to be in like a cubicle without any light and whatever light did exist was basically just, you know, built in fluorescence in the ceiling. That was a great lighting, but we tried to we tried to hype it up in post, but I don't know how successful it was. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's pretty much how that went. Game Master, thank you for the question. Appreciate that. Uh, Alex, what's up? Welcome in. Uh, hey, Brian, I was wondering if you think the Asker Tree will ever get a legendary or Brave Vaults, and if so, uh, is this something you'd like to see? Personally, I have picked Alphonse legendary or oh, Brave. Uh, it wants to know already happened. Uh, I, it hasn't happened by the time I've seen this. Uh, thank you. <laughs> this was submitted on May 12th and I'm recording on like May 31st. I feel like I deserve some sort of uh, pat on the back for doing this in a semi timely manner. Um, I think they'll probably get ascended alts. I think it will probably be Alphonse. I think it will probably be sooner than later. Um, but I mean, Alphonse is pretty high in terms of choose your legends voting. So I almost feel like he has a decent shot of getting it um, like, like next year or like maybe the year after. I don't know. I think it would be interesting if Alphonse got a Brave Alt just because like IS would have to kind of craft something um, uh, creative. <laughs> like how kind of like how they had. To, oh, hello. You're not uh, oh, I thought you would be. Um, Kind of like how they had to do it with Brave Veronica. Like they didn't have an easy out, right? Like the house leaders are basically just like their their wartime outfits. Uh, they can't really do that with OCs because they're still actively part of the story. Uh, but I think uh, Ascended makes a lot more sense. Or Brave if you force it. Um, so yeah, I, I think it will happen eventually. I think Alphonse is a good pick for that. I don't think anybody else really has a lot um, I was thinking the other day, like, you know, it would be, it would be interesting to see eventually down the road, we get like an ascended, uh, Reagan and, uh, we get like a forging bonds that basically are not forging bonds, uh, Tempest trials plus, I guess, kind of like how they handled Fjorm and leg yarn. Uh, it would be interesting to see like her go back instead of revisit her current story, uh, see her like leap forward in time. A little bit as like the actual queen of um uh Nina Valir. like after you know dagger was there to looking over stuff uh seeing Reagan go back and actually run the country i thought that could be interesting and it, it would be it, i mean it would take a lot of creative effort on their part <laughs> there's a lot of writing involved with that but you know it's neither here nor there alex thank you for the question appreciate it uh anonymous I don't know if that's your name or if you just choose to to be anonymous. I'm not really sure how to how to handle this one, but I'll do my best. Uh, what does KCB mean in the channel name? Uh, I always think of cool, crusty beard when I that sounds disgusting, by the way. <laughs> what an awful thing to associate my channel with. Rude. Um, no. And you know what? Just because that sounds so gross, I'm not going to give the answer. There you go. I know. Life isn't fair. Get used to it. <laughs> you know, I never said I would answer all of them. Uh, I th KCB can mean whatever you want it to mean. That's that's my official statement on the matter. There you go. Done. Done and done. We're really just getting a Sarah out here. What is this? What is this? This is life. Uh, anonymous, either username or uh, secretive. Uh, thank you for the question. Kind of. Kind of, but also a little little hurt. Difficult to say. Anywho, uh, oh no, we want to stop. We don't want to keep summoning. Uh, last one for this video. We're knocking them out left and right here. Uh, that is the same question, I think. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna, oop, delete. I think someone submitted twice. That's okay. Uh, okay. Carolina. Love that name. Dope name. 
Uh, hello, Brian. Been a subscriber for a long time. Love your content. Thank you for being a long time subscriber. I appreciate that. My questions. S in parentheses. Love that. What do you think about Shez from Three Hopes? And will you pull for them if they come out on the banner in the near future? Uh, yes. I to, to answer your question, will I pull? Yes. Um, mainly because IS has this way of dealing with like splinter games, as I'll call them, uh, where they just don't choose to exist, like you know, like Tokyo Mirage Sessions. And so I feel like it's having a niche little part of Fire Emblem Heroes history if you have one of those characters. Um, so yeah, I will pull for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, I don't know uh, if they'll be any good. I will pull. I assume that they will be good to some extent. If not, they'll probably have like some kind of crazy fodder, right? Um, I I like their design. I think there was a change that they made that I appreciated. I think their uh, the purple hair of the Shez character was like way overly saturated initially in like the very first trailer that we got for them. And then uh, it, it's not maybe as purple now. And so I kind of appreciate that change. Are we stuck? Did we get broken? Are we are we broke? Oh, no, we're fine. Okay, cool. Dope. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I do like I like shows. I don't know if they rank very high in terms of like all time um, uh, player characters for me. But uh, they have a cool design. I'm kind of I'm kind of down for it. Oh, Gaius. The first I think this is the first time I'm pulling this resplendent. That was a little startling. <laughs> Slightly startling. No big deal. Um, you know what I like most about they have uh, the the blue, green and yellow uh, little candies in a row. And I like that the two outside colors make the center color. I like that. That's a fun little detail. Um, that I appreciate. Blue and yellow make green. Did you guys know that? Anyway, <laughs> not really related to the question at all, but uh, but yeah, I'm uh, I'm overly hyped about Three Hopes, and uh, we will we will be doing some sort of stream content with it, as well as maybe some videos uh, when it drops. I think it comes out on like the 24th, maybe. Yeah, 24th. So. You know, uh, there will be fun, fun stuff to do there. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Carolina, thank you for the question. I appreciate it. And I think that's going to wrap up this video in particular. I know that was a little rapid fire, uh, but I, I did kind of want to do this whole banner on one video. Uh, so that was kind of the goal. And so thank you for bearing with me. If I talked a little fast or rushed through and didn't fully explain something, uh, I apologize. But I feel like I, I feel like I answered everything as holistically as I possibly could. Um, yeah, so, hey, fun. Another one in the books. Let's go, gamers. All right, if you enjoyed, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and come back for more. Uh, also, if you want to submit a question, there is an AMA link to a Google form in the description. You can fill that out. And, uh, you know, your question will probably be seen in a future one of these videos. But that's it for now. So thank you again for watching. Again, like, subscribe, back for more. You know I'll be here. And until then, I will catch you next time.